Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be uh, demonstrating how to flirt with the ladies, aka be a ladies man. Uh, flirting with the ladies is a great skill, whether you have reached master level or are just a beginner. Uh, speaking from experience, you always want to be prepared when approaching a lady, and I would like to share with you the simple steps I follow when flirting. <laughs> Today, I will teach you in three steps. First, how to score, which includes first impressions, pickup lines, and muse skills. Second will be sustaining the ladies. For this step, we will focus mostly on chivalry. And then master skills is the final step. Part one is how to score. So in order to score, you need a dress to impress. Uh, in order to do this, you need all the right materials. So starting off with the shirt, personally, I think black goes well with pretty much everything. Um, and that takes me now to my pants, which are also black. Wearing uh, black makes the user feel, or the wearer feel empowered and confident, which are exactly what you want to have when you're approaching uh, women. Uh, Black also makes other colors pop, like my silver bow tie, which is essential. Um, so then moving on to the shoes, which I don't know if you can see. Um, uh, we were also keeping it black. As you can see, I'm wearing a uh, pair of fashionable suspenders, as opposed to a belt, also black. Then the most important thing is the undershirt, which none of you can see, but uh, it's very important because even though everything on the outside may look good, it's what's on the inside that matters. So uh, you want to feel smooth and fresh under all the outside clothes. So yeah, that's really important. So something else that many people uh, miss is fragrance. So for this, I brought in just a few of the colognes I have worn. So here we have Fireside Bourbon. Um, this one is still, uh, still has some in it, so this one still gets used from time to time. This one is empty, but this one is uh, Citrus, Oak Moss, and Tonka. So this one uh, I used probably um, the most when it was, when it was uh, full. Then I have Sweet Tobacco, which is an old one but I have kept the bottle because it looks cool. So those are my three colognes. Um, uh, an important thing to remember is to only wear cologne when you are trying to get rizzy. Um, when, you are, when you wear it too much, it just becomes, uh, it, you don't stand out when you wear it. So that's something very important. All of these things, the ladies will go absolutely wild for. I forgot one, I, I forgot one more actually. You want to have a killer smile. Teeth showing is important. So cheeks up. Uh, it's going to be like this. <laughs> Eyebrows are a major part of the smile. Uh, if you have braces, that is a huge plus. Um, drives the women nuts. <laughs> I have braces. Uh, social media pictures can be a huge asset. So I have my personal favorites here. Duck face is a popular one. That one goes like... Yeah, like that. So then my second favorite is probably the running the hand through the hair. Um, that's that you can pair that one with duck face actually and it'll go pretty well if you so, so that that one is super popular. Then we have the final one which is the mirror pick. And if I had a mirror I would do this one, but I don't. So as you can see this dude's doing the mirror pick. He's got the duck lips going as well there. Um, those, the, the, the mirror pick, um, if you get the shower curtain in the background, that's a huge plus. They love that. <laughs> so, moving on to pickup lines. Once you actually begin to talk to the women, you might, might want to use some great pickup lines. I have two major categories of pickup lines here. Um, first, I have the nervous category. Girls go wild for this one. Uh, so, my two favorite nervous pickup lines are You're like the pulp to my 2% milk in the morning. And then the next one is, are you rain? Because I'm falling for you. So neither of those actually really make sense, but 
they're close to making sense, which gives off a nervous impression exactly what you're going for. Then the other category is assertive. So this one, it might go like this. Kiss me if I'm wrong, but is your name Guadalupe? Bam. You get a kiss straight off the bat. That is the assertive category. So Moving on, moving on to muse skills. Uh, for, for the first one, I have basic finger guns. So that one, uh, I want to ask you all to do, to do this. Uh, you make an L with your right hand. So can everybody do that? And then you're going to then you're gonna point it. You want that? You can get a wink in there. And you want the click. The click is important. So, and then I have serenade. Serenade is important. Um, it's important to serenade women. So I actually uh, would serenade, serenade them with Billy Joel. Um, when you were at the concert, I'm a Billy Joel guy. And I sang a song by Billy Joel. So moving on to my dance moves. Um, <laughs> the first dance move, I actually I want you guys all to do this again. Um, so you put, your, you put your hand out, fist out, at uh, 12 o'clock, and then you want to move it back and forth like this, and then you put the other hand in there, and then you get two hands, you can go up and down like this. That one is really popular. Um, shopping cart is my next one. So you're going to be walking down the aisle, grabbing, grabbing produce. Um, that one's really popular. But, oh, it's Black Friday. It's Black Friday. And pepper spray, pepper spray, pepper spray. So pepper spray, you're going to want to hold your hand out and move your pointer finger up and down like this. Just spray a little bit. So then I, moving on my jokes. The ladies love the jokes. Laughing is uh, super important, so I have a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock, um, who's there? To, to who? Actually, it's to whom. A little bit of an English joke there for you. And then, moving on to my advanced proficiency skills. So for this, you have the double-click double finger gun, which you go one, two, you can point at two different ladies if you want, and then you get the bolt. You can click with both of them. So, so that one is uh, more advanced than the than the basic finger gun. So then also you have the 360 uh, through the leg finger gun. So this one you jump in a circle and then three legs. Um, that one gets the heart rate going a little bit more. Um, and then you have Morse code winks. So this one is really advanced. Um, so you can do SOS, which would be three right, O, S, um, and that's the only one you really need to know for Morse code. So they would be really impressed with that one if you ever did that one. Um, moving on to sustaining the ladies. This is part two. Now this is, in my opinion, the most difficult part of all of this. To do this, you need to be chivalrous, hold doors at all times, and let them go first always. Gift giving is also important, and I had an expired chocolate bar to show you, but uh, that didn't make the cut. We don't know where that went. So um, you, you might want to get uh, that as an apology after like a fight. Um, cr when crossing a puzzle, or er, puddle, you're going to want to put your coat on the puddle so that they can walk over the puddle and not get their, their shoes dirty, their Air Forces, or their boots. Um, that's very important. Uh, chivalry is not dead yet. Um, then master skills. Be over six feet tall. That is very important. So, and then after that, that's it. Um, just have fun. Have fun. Uh, practice. Thank you for listening to my speech. <laughs>